Hey, I want to make a video showing you how to test out your inertia switch, or at least that's what I call it, um, on your dryer. Let me just start with the back, actually. All I did is uh, I disconnect. This is the wire harness that goes to your electric motor. And I want you to notice the two red leads. Um, they're both the biggest ones, and they're on the ends of the um, harness. And this just plugs into your motor. I've disconnected it and pulled it out through here so you can see it better. Um, I want you to see that let's see, one lead goes over to your uh, heating element and the other lead, if you trace it, goes all the way up and it's actually the red lead that comes off of your um, your main power and, and, and as you can see it's not plugged in. Um, anyways, the main uh, power lead so the way this goes is the power comes in uh, through this red lead, goes down to one end of the harness and then goes through that inertia switch which is normally open and then if it closes it allows the current to continue on and go to your heating element. And so the way you test that out is looking at the at the dryer motor you can I already put alligator clips on the two outer red leads. If I had that uh, lead, the connector that I showed you earlier plugged in here, you'd see the red leads were on the ends. So I just hooked that up and I put it on your meter on continuity and mine's got an audible which is nice. And then we just come over to your dryer and then um, when the dryer is spinning it's got magnets on it and there's a little plunger. You just reach down and I'm going to push the plunger to the back and you can hear the the meter go off and if I let go of it it comes to the front so it's a very important thing you would not want to like be refurbishing a dryer or fixing a dryer and not test that because if that's bad you need a new motor or at least a way to fix that somehow um, anyway so that's how you test out again I just call it an inertia switch when it spins there's some magnets or metal pieces back there that'll kind of like expand or something and cause that plunger to push to the back. Oops, I got my meter off, which was connect the continuity there. Anyways, I hope this made sense and hope this helps somebody out out there. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.